Question number six from C34, June 2018, International A-Level paper. Um, here we have a question about trig identities, I guess. It says express the square root of five times cosine theta minus two sine theta in the form R cosine theta plus alpha. So we got the square root of five times cosine theta minus two times sine theta and we have to express it in the form r cosine theta plus alpha okay so basically what we've got to do is we've got to expand this okay and that is expanded not by saying cosine theta plus cosine alpha all right it doesn't expand like that because cosine by itself means nothing all right so you have to basically use what are called the compound angle formula or the addition formula they're called no they're called the compound angle formula sorry all right so you've got to go to your formula book let me just write this properly cosine okay so if we go to the formula book you see you have these um formula here this is the one for cosine so i'll take that and that's what we will need by, by the time you've done many questions you should have memorized it but i'm just showing you from the formula book okay so you can see how to use it if you need to so basically that's the identity that we're going to use now we want cosine theta plus alpha so our theta is the a and our alpha is the b in this formula and we're going to have the one that says plus so between these two sides is going to be a minus so it's cosine you have r times cosine of theta times cosine of alpha minus the sine well i'll put the r here as well because the r is multiplied by both of them minus r times the sine of theta times the sine of alpha and that's equivalent to square root of five cosine theta minus two sine theta so what we're going to do now to find what r and uh, theta are we can look at the coefficients of for example cosine theta let's start with sine theta um, let's look at the coefficient of sine theta on this side and the coefficient of sine theta on that side what's multiplying the sine theta on this side well it's two okay you have a minus here and a minus here so don't worry about the minus that's a two okay so we can say that on this side it's two so we can say two is equal to and on this side you've got r times sine theta oh sorry sine alpha okay and if we look at the the cosine all right on this side you got roof you got the cosine theta here and the cosine theta there Okay, what's multiplying the cosine theta on this side? It's root 5. Okay, it's root 5. Okay, so you're going to have root 5 on this side equals, and what's multiplying the cosine theta on this side? Well, it's r times cosine alpha. So what we can say here is that means sine of alpha is equal to 2 over r. And here we can say the cosine of alpha is equal to root 5 over r. Now there's different ways you can proceed from here, but a nice way is to make a right angle triangle. Okay. So right angle triangle. <clears throat> we can call this angle alpha. So if sine alpha is 2 over r, this would be 2, and this would be r. And cosine alpha is root 5 over r so this is root 5 adjacent over the hypotenuse so we can say that therefore r must be equal to the square root of 2 squared plus root 5 squared right because by pythagoras this squared plus that squared equals that squared so r is equal to the square root of 9 because that's 4 and that's 5 okay the square of root 5 is 5 so that's equal to 3 so we can say r is equal to 3 and we can say for example tan of alpha 
is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, oh, sorry, opposite over adjacent, sorry. So 2 over root 5. So that means alpha is equal to, now we've got to be in radian mode because this is radians. Okay, you've got the pi here, all right? So we have to use our calculator in radian mode, which it is in radian mode, okay? So we're going to press inverse of tan of 2 over root 5. Okay, oops. Okay, is equal to 0 0.72972. 0 0.72972. 0 0.7, sorry, 0. 72972. 72972. And it continues on. I'm not rounding it here. But we're going to round it to four significant figures. So that's one, two, three, four. So you're going to end up having it as 0 0.7297. That's your alpha and that's your R. So we've got to write it in this form. So let me just make a bit of space. Let me move this thing out of the way. And so therefore I can say that we can write the square root of 5 cosine theta minus 2 sine theta as 3 times the cosine of theta minus 0 0.7297. Okay, that is what we've proved there. Okay, sorry, cosine um, plus not minus, plus, because it's cosine plus theta. There's a minus one, that's a plus, right? Okay, so that is our answer. Okay, now for part B, um, we've got to solve for theta between minus pi and pi, uh, root five cosine theta minus two sine theta, which is the same thing we started with here, equals 0 0.5. So we can just simply replace this with what we found it to be, which is three, three, what's going on here? Which is three cosine, theta plus 0 0.7297 equals 0 0.5, which is a half. So cosine of theta plus 0 0.7297 equals a half divided by three, which is one sixth. Okay, now before we proceed, we've got our limits for minus pi to plus pi. Okay, I have to change it so that it looks like this. So I have to basically add 0 0.7297 to both of these limits. So let's do that. So we're going to have minus pi. So minus pi plus 0 0.7297. No, 9.7. Okay, which is, oops, 9.7. Okay, that gives us minus 2.4119. Minus 2.4119. Okay, and I have to also, whoops. I have to also add that to positive pi. So that gives me 3.871. Three, okay, three, three point eight seven one three. I'm not supposed to write in there, but no problem. Okay, so I've got to gather all the solutions that lie between these two limits. Okay, so I'm going to first of all press inverse cosine of zero point seven two nine seven. Okay, sorry, inverse cosine of one sixth. Okay, and that will give me. Let's see what angles I find. They have to be within that range. Okay, so let's see. The calculator gives us the first answer. Okay, which is inverse cosine of 1 over 6. That gives us 1.4033. 1.4033. 1 1.4033. Um, 1 That's within our range. 
Okay, now for cosine curve, because um, it's symmetrical about 180, the other angle, the other main angle is 360 minus this angle. So you do 360, which is 2 pi, because we're in radian mode. So we're going to have 2 pi minus our answer, which gives us 4.8798. 4.8798. So 4.8798. Well, as we noticed, this is actually outside our range. However, I'm not going to get rid of it because it might be that we can use this to find another angle which isn't within our range. To find other angles within the range, we have to add, subtract 2 pi to and from okay, the solutions. Now, if I add 2 pi to this, of course, I'm going to be outside of my range because um, that's going to give me um, 3.4 plus, you know, of course it's going to be outside of the range, it's going to be 4 point something. Um, if I add 2 pi to this, it's going to of course be way more outside the range, but if I, let's see what happens if I take 2 pi away from this, okay, if I take 2 pi, pi away from this, so minus 2 pi, it gives me minus 1.4033, which is the negative of that, minus 1.4033. Okay, so that's within our range. That's within our range. If I take away 2 pi from this answer, which is basically the negative of that answer, okay, so it's 1.4033. If I take away 2 pi from this, I'm pretty sure I'll be outside of the range again. That gives me minus 4.87, which is, of course, outside the range. So these are the two solutions in the range. Okay, okay, so now we have to basically subtract 0 0.7297 from these two to give us the solutions, okay, which are required because we have to find theta. So, oops. Okay. So theta is equal to, we're going to have this minus 0 0.7297. So this is the angle we have already, minus... 0 0.7297 that's going to give you 0 0.67364 0 0.67364 okay and the second angle theta will also equal and we got to subtract this from that angle there so if we just um, add 0 0.7297 to go back to where we were, we need the negative of that. We need to subtract 0 0.7297 from that as well. We get minus 2.1330. So you got negative 2 point, negative 2.1330. We have to round to three significant figures, as it says. Question states, three significant figures, yes. So this will be 0 0.674, 0 0.674, and it will be on this side, negative 2.13, 3 SF, negative 2.13. Okay, time to reboot the computer, it's lagging. So I will now, um, do part C on the next video.